The problem says, find an equation of the line passing through point A, 0 minus 2, 2, and point B, 1 minus 2, minus 1. And once we do that, find a point P on this line with y equal to 2, if such a point exists. Now, we have two points, and we know that two points determine a line. But our formula wants a point and a directional vector. So let's see how to get that. Here's our three-dimensional space. Let's draw the point A, 0, minus 2, 2, and then the point B, which is 1, minus 2, minus 1. And we can see that there's a line, and that's what we need to find the equation of. But how do we do that? Well, on that line lies the vector AB. It's not a directional vector, but we can make it into a directional vector. And so then we can use either one of these points and this directional vector from AB. So let's do that. So which point should we choose? Just to be contrary, we're going to choose B. And our directional vector, R, with a arrow AB on the vector AB. We like to write it B minus A so we know which direction we're going. So that means we subtract the coordinates of A from B. But what we do is we look here at B and we write 1. And then we write minus and we go up and we get 0. Then we write B minus 2. We write our minus sign here. Then we go up and we get A and we write minus 2. And we go in minus 1 minus, and then we go up and we get a, and it's 2. If we write the b and the minus, the chances that you will make an error are certainly less. And so we have 1 minus 0 is 1, minus 2 minus minus 2 is minus 2 plus 2, which is 0. And then minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. So here's our directional vector, and here's a point, and we can use the parametric form of the line, which is this. And so let's go for that. So we write x, y, z equal, equal, equal. Go and get our point that we're using, which is 1 minus 2 minus 1. And then our directional vectors is plus 1 times t, right there, plus 0 times t minus 3 times t. So our answer is x equal to 1 plus t, y equal to minus 2, there's no t there, and z equal to minus 1 minus 3t. So here is an equation of the line passing through a, b. And let's see that. So here's a, b, our vector between a, b, and our directional vector. Let's draw our line that we have. There it is. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 3. And let's just draw another line where we see a here in place of b to see that it's the same line. And there it is with a there, and we get the same line. Further, let's notice that we could have chosen B to be our first point and A to be our second point, in which case our directional vector would be going up that away, right? And let's see that the line we get is still the same. So let's draw a third line using that directional vector. And there it is. All three lines are right here. Those are all three of these are equations of the same line. This is the equation that we built. So now it remains to find a point P on the line with y equal to 2 if such a point exists. P with y equal to 2. And how did we do it last time? We went up here and we got y. And we said, write that equation down here. This says y equal to minus 2. Ooh, there's no place to solve for t. We can't do this. So there is no such point. And what does that mean, that there's no such point? That means 
that this line here does not pass through the plane y equals 2. So let's see that. So here is the plane y equal to 2. Here's our line, and we can see there's no intersection. But let's just rotate it to see what that means. There it is. We can see that actually this line is sitting on the plane y equal to minus 2. Notice that both points go through minus 2. So this line here is just sitting on y equal to minus 2. For sure, it's not going to go through the plane y equal to 2. And that is the end of that.